Compsognathus is a genus of small, bipedal, carnivorous theropod dinosaur. The name in Greek translates to elegant jaw. Members of its single species Compsognathus longipes could grow to around the size of a turkey. They lived about 150 million years ago, during the Tithonian age of the late Jurassic period, in what is now Europe. Although not recognized as such at the time of its discovery, Compsognathus is the first theropod dinosaur known from a reasonably complete fossil skeleton. Until the 1990s, it was the smallest known non-avialan dinosaur, with the preceding centuries incorrectly labeling them as the closest relative of Archaeopteryx. For decades, Compsognathus was known as the smallest known non-avian dinosaur, although some dinosaurs discovered later, such as Mahakala and Microraptor, were even smaller. Only two almost complete skeletons were uncovered, one in Germany and one in France. The German specimen was estimated to be 70 to 89 centimeters in length by separate authors, while the larger French specimen was estimated between 1.25 meters and 1.4 meters in length. The height of the hip has been estimated at 21 cm for the German specimen, and at 29 cm for the French specimen. The German specimen was estimated to have weighed between 0.32 kg and 0.58 kg, and the French specimen between 2.5 and 3.5 kg. This makes those specimens to be about as large as average modern-day chicken. Some relatives of Compsognathus, namely Cynosauropteryx and Cynocolyopteryx, have been preserved with the remains of simple feathers covering the body like fur, promoting some scientists to suggest that Compsognathus might have been feathered in a similar way. Consequently, many depictions of Compsognathus show them with coverings of downy proto feathers. However, no feathers or feather like covering have been preserved with Compsognathus fossils, in contrast to Archaeopteryx which are found in the same sediments. Like Compsognathus, and unlike Cynosauropteryx, a patch of fossilized skin from the tail and hindlime of the possible relative Giravenator Starkey shows mainly scales, though there is some indication that simple feathers were also present in the preserved areas. This may mean that a feather covering was not ubiquitous in this group of dinosaurs, or maybe that some species had fewer feathers than others. Compsognathus is known from two almost complete skeletons. The German specimen stems from limestone deposits in Bavaria, and was part of the collection of the physician and fossil collector Joseph Obendorfer. Obendorfer lent the specimen to paleontologist Johann A. Wagner, who published a brief discussion in 1859, where he coined the name Compsognathus longites. Both the year of discovery and the exact locality of the German specimen are unknown, possibly because Obendorfer did not reveal details of the discovery to prevent other collectors from exploiting the locality. The larger French specimen, was discovered in around 1971 in the Portlandian lithographic limestone of Canduas near Nice. It dates to the Lower Tithonian, as indicated by Ammonite Index fossils. The specimen was originally part of a large private fossil collection of Louis Gerardi, the owner of the Kanjas quarries. Compsognathus longipes is one of the few dinosaur species whose diet is known with certainty, the remains of small, agile lizards are preserved in the bellies of both specimens. Erstrom identified the remains as belonging to a lizard of the genus Bavarisaurus, which he concluded was a fast and agile runner owing to its long tail and limb proportions. This in turn led to the conclusion that its predators, Compsognathus, must have had sharp vision, and the ability to rapidly accelerate and outrun the lizard. Conrad made the lizard found in the thoracic cavity of the German specimen of Compsognathus the holotype of a new species Schoenus mal dyspepsia. The lizard is in a single piece, indicating that the Compsognathus must have swallowed its prey whole. 
The French specimen's gastric contents consist of unidentified lizards or sphenodontids. For almost a century, Compsognathus longipes was the only well-known small theropod species. This led to comparisons with Archaeopteryx and to suggestions of an especially close relationship with birds. In fact, Compsognathus, rather than Archaeopteryx, piqued Huxley's interest in the origin of birds. The two animals share similarities in shape and proportions, so many in fact that two specimens of Archaeopteryx, the Eichstatt and the Solnhofen, were for a time misidentified as those of Compsognathus. Many other types of theropod dinosaurs, such as Maneraptorans, are now known to have been more closely related to birds. <laughs>